Welcome back spider owners, Brandon here with SlingMods.com and today we have our Laminix pre-cut headlight lens covers for the Can-Am Spider F3. If you own a Spider F3 and you're looking to protect your headlight lenses against hazing, cloudiness, or rock chips, then a pair of our Laminix headlight covers may be right for you. These headlight covers are made from an adhesive-backed 12 mil Laminix film that's been pre-cut for a precision fit over your factory headlight lenses, as well as your front fender tip lights. These lens covers are available in multiple tint levels such as clear, tint, and gun smoke, as well as colored film options such as yellow, blue, amber, green, and pink. Now please note that if you plan on running anything other than clear, we'd recommend that you check with your state or local laws before installation since colored or tinted films may not be legal for street use. Now today I'm going to walk you through the installation on our shop F3L and if you plan on doing this installation yourself, we'd recommend also purchasing our optional install kit which will include a squeegee, mist sprayer, and a retractable trim tool making for a straightforward installation. Let's get started. Start by pressing down on your key and turning it counterclockwise to unlock and open your frunk so that you can lift this access panel up and off. Now test fit the laminex to your headlight to make sure you have the correct side and so that you can see how it will align. Now use your spray bottle with some clean filtered water to clean the outside of your headlight. Next, peel back the protective backing from your Laminix, making sure to only grab the two tabs on the film, then spray the headlight one more time, followed by the back of your Laminix film, and align it to the headlight so that the top and outside corner light up first, And once you have it where you like it, spray the outside of the Laminix and use your squeegee tool starting at the top to adhere the film to the headlight while pressing out the water and the air bubbles. Next, wipe down the lens with a clean dry towel and use your trim tool to carefully cut off the excess tabs on the Laminix, making sure not to cut into the headlight or the plastics. Then you can reinstall your access panel and close your frunk. Now test your front tip light so you can see how it will align. Then spray your lens with clean filtered water and use a clean dry cloth to wipe it dry. Now spray the tip light one more time. Then peel back the protective backing tape from your Laminex, making sure to only touch the two tabs on the ends. Then you can spray the back of the Laminex film before aligning it over top of the lens. Now, once you have it aligned where you want it, spray the outside of your Laminex film and use your squeegee tool to adhere the film to the tip light while pressing out the water and the air bubbles. Next, wipe down the lens with your clean dry towel and use your trim tool to carefully cut off the excess tabs of the Laminex, making sure not to cut into the light or the plastics. And then simply repeat that same process for the other side. And there you have it folks, so protecting your Spider F3 headlight lenses with either clear, tinted, 
or colored lens covers is on your mod list, then be sure to head on over to slingmods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab a kit for yourself. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything spider. I'm Brandon, signing out. Until next time.